Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. In today's episode, we have an update on what Congress has been doing in terms of gun legislation and gun control. Now, as always, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show, a hack support a conservative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, this one does come from our friends over at the Daily Wire, and they say here, House Democrat floats 1,000% tax on AR-15 style rifles. Notice it says style. So it's both the AR-15 and ones that are style, <laughs> just like the AR-15. Folks, I'm laughing because it's baffling. They'll call it AR-15, then they'll call it AR style 15 rifles, and then they'll call it assault weapons. You're going to see all these interchangeable words within this article as we're about to go over. And not only am I going to talk about this, but I'll also talk about the extra components that Congress is trying to do towards the end of the video here. A key House Democrat is floating a 1,000% tax on AR-15s and similar rifles as part of his party's latest bid to push gun control in the wake of recent mass shootings. You have Representative Virginia, who sits on the House Ways and Means Committee, told Business Insider that increasing the cost of rifles tenfold would be a deterrent to mass shootings that could raise the price of rifles to anywhere from 5,000 to as much as 20,000. I love the word that it could be, right? Or the phrase could be, because they have no idea. At the end of the day, all they're trying to do is screw over law-abiding citizens and then just give a free pass to criminals at the end of the day. Because look, they're gonna get the rifle any way they see fit, or they're gonna get any firearm that they want to commit these heinous crimes. It's always us, the law-abiding ones, that get screwed at the end of the day and that's exactly what's happening here but watch the slimy stuff they're doing they're going behind the door on these these things with this thousand percent tax and there's a reason why they're pushing this rather than going by other means it says what's intended to do is provide another creative pathway to actually make some sensible gun control happen sensible to whom <laughs> really i mean it's not sensible to republicans or conservatives or well hell half of america or maybe more but you know according to democrats it's all sensible it's like when the president comes out and say oh it's all common sense uh-huh <laughs> it's unbelievable we think that a thousand percent fee on assault weapons there you go that phrase again is being interlocked with with ar-15 and and ar-15 style rifles it's just the kind of restrictive measure that creates enough fiscal impact to qualify for reconciliation just just switch out that word restrictive for infringe it's just some kind of infringement measure you know you don't have the right to infringe on our second amendment right but we're going to use words like restrictive and other things so that we could just whoop, be slimy and just bypass that whole thing nothing to see here folks it's just a lot of smoke no fire oh man it's i mean what a crazy time to be alive where this type of stuff is taking place in Congress, where they're trying to tax the crap out of our rifles so we can't even get them anymore. You know, you got Canada above getting rid of handguns. You have Joe Biden down below that wants to get rid of all assault weapons, which is all AR-15 style rifles or rifles in general. At least, again, they just think anything that's scary is an assault weapon, so it's virtually everything. But I digress. Let's continue. A final draft of Byers' bill is not yet complete and is still under uh, unclear when the tax would take effect and what the needed revenue would fund. Although one possibility is a restitution program for family members of victims killed in shootings. Byer said that law enforcement agencies and the US military wouldn't be subject to the tax. But wasn't that just lovely, right? You're getting taxed on a firearm that's basically paying for somebody else's heinous crimes to other victims that were a result of the heinous crimes that was either legally or illegally purchased with a weapon. It's just, God, this is nuts. The lawmaker added that he believes he uh, his bill can clear the House, where Democrats hold a clear majority and bypass filibuster in the Senate, where Vice President Kamala Harris could cast the deciding vote. This is some slimy stuff by Democrats. It, it, it's such the swamp. This is exactly what President Trump talked about, where you need to drain the swamp. Because you got people like this that will come up with these crafty, slimy ways to get through their gun legislation, or at least their gun reform, or whatever you want to call it. So here's the guy himself. Congress must act to prevent mass shootings. Again, it's not going to prevent anything other than the fact that you're not going to allow law-abiding citizens to get the gun they so choose. I'm writing a bill to restrict the flow of weapons of war into American uh, communities. This language, again, weapons of war, they carry handguns in war. They carry knives in wars. Knives considered weapons of war because we all have those on our kitchen counters. So again, the language is just baffling here. Into American communities, including AR-15s and high-capacity magazines. That could bypass the filibuster and pass with just 50 votes in the Senate. Byer's plan is to pass the bill through reconciliation, which would allow it to bypass the 60 vote threshold for breaking the filibuster. Because it is a tax proposal, it could meet the requirement for reconciliation, experts said. Now, here's how many rifles we have in circulation. An estimated 20 million 
AR-15 style rifles are in circulation in the US, and about 20% of all new firearm purchases meet the description. That's a lot, every one in five. And this is what they want to tax here. So they're screwing over a lot of people, folks. President Biden has called for a ban on what the left often describes as assault weapons, although the term is not technical firearm definition. A bill proposed by David Cicilline, I believe it is, defines assault weapons as military-style rifles. Again, military-style. I mean, again, the military carries all sorts of weaponry, but we're just going to classify whatever fits our narrative, and then we're going to use that vocab vocabulary to push that narrative. Including those with a magazine that is not fixed ammunition magazine and has one or more military characteristics, including a pistol grip, a forward grip, a barrel shroud, and a threaded barrel or a folded or telescope is cheese. Basically anything, folks. <laughs> Any attachments on your firearm is going to be military style. Folks, it is important that we go over this because like I said, it's not about removing the Second Amendment now, like wholeheartedly one and done, one swipe of the pen and done. They will slowly infringe upon it piece by piece where at some point in history, all that's going to be left is handguns. And then what they're going to slowly do with that because people are still committing heinous crimes. Even today, they commit the vast majority of those crimes in terms of using certain weapons with handguns that, you know, you're not going to have handguns even in the future. Not going to happen in our lives. It might not happen in our children's lives or grandchildren. It's going to happen at some point because they want to continue to do this slimy stuff here in Congress. And these are the people that get voted in. Nuts, 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 and scary. Democrats have also proposed raising the age to buy an AR-15 style rifle from age 18 to 21. So now we're getting into that other component that I talked about at the beginning of the show of other ways Congress is trying to enact certain gun control measures. This is one of them. We've talked about this. Joe Biden actually talked about it as well during his mass shooting speech where he wants to move the age of 18 to 21. I think a lot of Republicans and conservatives are willing to have this style of conversation. There's a lot of evidence saying that, you know, adults, as far as the, the formation of the brain and really when you become into adulthood, doesn't really take effect till probably the age of be conservative, 25 to 28, maybe somewhere in that range. And quite frankly, we see that a lot in school. When I describe school systems, I correlate high school to being the new middle school, middle school being the new elementary school, elementary school being the new preschool. Uh, even if you walk in the classrooms, you would see same thing, very similar style classroom from when you were middle school now to what you would see in high school. Uh, that's obviously not the point of this video, but I think there's a conversation to be had about moving the age from 18 to 21. If that is the case, then a lot of things need to be transferred from 18 to 21, like the draft or, or being uh, able to register into the military. Recent mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas were carried out by 18 year old men uh, with AR-15 style rifles, although a mass shooting in Philadelphia Saturday night, which we covered. So make sure you check that video out. That was uploaded yesterday, which was Sunday. Saturday night was carried out by multiple suspects with handguns, but again, you know, it's not going to get mainstream news for a couple of reasons. One, carried out by handguns. goes against their narrative. Two, uh, was delayed or not delayed, but it was interrupted by a, a good guy with a gun, which Democrats say that's never happened. We showed a video on that as well. I highly encourage you to go to yesterday's video. It's only like seven minutes long, but it covers this Philadelphia Saturday night shooting. And again, it completely goes against the Democrats narrative here. Quote, we will, we will need to ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines, Biden said last week. And if we can't ban assault weapons, then we'd need to raid the age from to purchase them from 18 to 21, strengthen the background checks. I don't know, again, what they really mean by strengthening these background checks. This is another component of what they're trying to do. So to kind of bring it full circle here on both Republicans and Democrats really coming together in Congress, they're trying to send the age from or increase the age from 18 to 21, uh, get rid of high capacity magazines. They're trying to imp implement more red flag laws in other states. Uh, they're trying to get rid of the, I think I said the high capacity magazines, the increase in background checks is one as well. Um, get rid of the AR-15 style rifles. That's more of Democrats and Republicans. Republicans are mostly fixed on the whole background checks and red flag laws. Uh, but now you're seeing some slimy ways that Democrats are trying to move this way into getting what they want. And I think it's just, honestly, I think it's quite disgusting. Again, the only people that are really getting hurt here are law-abiding citizens, such as myself or you, if you are a uh, carrier of a firearm or firearm carrier, you know, it just ends up hurting us at the end of the day. I'm not paying a thousand dollar tax on an AR-15 or another rifle. It's just not gonna happen. It's just another way. It's just another way for them to infringe on our right to carry or at least possess a firearm. And, and the argument is always, well, we're not stopping you from getting the, 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 the other firearms. We're just stopping you from getting this one. You're infringing. You're limiting our right to carry what we want. And this is the problem, that word infringement. And they're going to use other words like restrictive and all these other things to bypass 
that word so it makes them not look as bad so there you go folks let me know what you think about all this in the comments am i the only one that's aggravated by this am i the only one that's getting really frustrated with these elected politicians both democrats and republicans trying to infringe on our second amendment rights again our rights so let me know what you think about this in the comments below as always make sure to hit that like and subscribe button share this link with your friends and family all over social media and folks it's monday i hope you have a lovely week see you later